Hi YouTube, it's Mama Do Dawn. I am finally in my office. This half is set up. Trust me, you guys do not want to see that half. It is like still a total disaster. But I have one half of the room functional and that's all that matters for now. So I'm just going to delight in sitting here. And today I wanted to make a video answering a few questions that I've had in the comments that I feel brought up some really valid points. There's three different questions that I've seen come up that I think people are bringing up really good points in. The first is, why would I not work with my landlord to just take up the free rent on the last apartment and not have to face eviction or anything like that? Just take up the free rent for May and then continue working in June. So we're going to discuss that. The second one is, am I applying for a small business uh, loan through the government? The In the United States, they are offering small businesses pretty much emergency funding loans. I forget exactly what it's called, but basically just to help you buffer through this rough time. Am I going to apply for one of those loans? And the third is, am I going to apply for unemployment? Unemployment is a check within the United States that you can receive if you are out of work. They have currently opened that up to self-employed individuals who are out of work. So I'm going to discuss all three of those things with you guys and kind of just answer those questions publicly. I have answered them in the comments, but I feel like just making a video about it is going to avoid those questions coming up again and again. So the first, eviction. Um, I ended up leaving my last rental. I uh, worked with my landlord to get out of the lease, and he had offered me um, to not pay rent in May or June, and just so I could stay there, continue living there, and start paying rent again in July. At the time, I didn't know that he was going to offer me those things when I was packing up everything and leaving. I was just getting the place ready before I even told him I was going to leave so it could be like ready to go and he could get it rented out right away. Um, so my main reason for getting everything out was that I did not want to have to back pay rent. Even if they were going to allow me to back pay rent, I don't think in my current financial situation that would be the smartest move for me. I don't think I would be able to afford to back pay rent. I didn't want to risk having a small claims against me. I didn't want to risk ruining credit and I didn't want to risk ruining my reputation with the landlord. I tried to leave the home in really good condition and I didn't want to put him in a financially rough position that would essentially ruin my rapport. And in the United States, typically when you are filing for rental, they will ask for your last rental manager's contact information, which they'll use as a reference. They'll call them, see what type of renter you were. You know, did you pay your rent on time? Did you leave the house in decent condition? All of those things. And I didn't want to ruin that type of rapport because I will be renting again in the future and I want to use him as a reference. So he did end up offering for me to actually stay there two months free of charge. I still cannot afford even the electric on that place, which was $500 a month the water and sewer was $100 a month. It was just financially draining me in the position that I'm in. Just paying my minimum debt payments was a lot for me. It is a lot for me. So I would rather move in with my parents, although that was really rough and a really hard decision to make. I would rather do that, be here, be in a secure place where I can live rent-free. <laughs> Thank you family for that. I hope that I can offer that security to my kids someday. That's why I'm working so hard right now, but I'm getting sidetracked. Point is, I would rather be here focusing a majority of my money on debt than continuing to try to live there and possibly not even being able to pay the full rent in July when that time came around. It was just prolonging the inevitable of me probably having to leave that place because I couldn't afford it. So at least now I know I'm in a stable position and I can really focus all of my time and energy on paying off this debt. The second is, am I going to take a small business emergency funding loan from the United States government? Um, no. <laughs> so these loans are forgivable, which means it'll basically become a grant if you use at least 60% to pay employees. I have no employees. I'm self-employed. When I do hire people, I am hiring independent contractors to do work for me. They're working for a day or two. They're doing social media type tasks, advertising type tasks. I don't have any employees. So that would not work for me because I would be taking out a loan. I would be taking out more debt. And if you guys know anything about my debt situation, I cannot afford more debt right now. Also, 
um, I didn't want to take away from other businesses that truly need it. I have inventory in stock with Amazon right now that when it reopens, I will be able to reopen my business. It's going to be a lot slower. It's going to be a lot harder. Amazon's algorithm in general promotes products that are purchased regularly. The fact that my products have not been purchased for over a month and a half is going to hurt my business. It's going to be a slower regrowth period. I've acknowledged that but my business can still get up and running. There are other businesses out there that I know will be struggling a lot more with rebuilding themselves once this whole quarantine epidemic finishes up. So I didn't feel like I really needed the loan. Also, Amazon takes a ton of slack. They are not the best company in the world in a lot of ways, I'll admit that. But in terms of how they've treated me as an Amazon seller, they are amazing. They have done everything they possibly could to waive fees, to keep me from owing money when I can't pay money right now. There's a lot of operating costs for running your business on Amazon, and they've really worked to eliminate as many of those as possible. So Amazon sellers aren't really hurting during this time. So because of that, I am not applying for or taking a small business loan during this time. And the third is, am I going to apply for unemployment? And again, the answer is no. The biggest reason for this is I want to find, and I have found, alternative sources of income. And I don't want to take unemployment and then, you know, get in trouble for fraud because I'm actually bringing in other kinds of income. I have been working through eBay, through Etsy, through freelance writing sites. I've been doing anything in my power to earn money at this time, and it's working. There is no point in me applying for unemployment right now when I am employed enough in other ways to pay for my bills. So I just didn't feel like it was the right move for me to do that, mainly because I'm afraid of like getting in trouble for actually having income while being on unemployment. Also, I could just not work at all and collect unemployment, but I feel like I will make more working all my little side gigs than I would bringing in unemployment. What's going to create a better financial opportunity for me? Also, what's just going to work out better for me in the long run? Working is, staying in a working routine, continuing to ship inventory, package products, make products, do whatever I can do to make money. In the long run, not breaking that routine, not going on unemployment is going to benefit me um, just as a person, just as feeling better about myself. Um, and financially, I think it's going to as well because I will be making more money doing my side gigs than I would on unemployment. So those are the three financial opportunities that have arisen due to the coronavirus that I have not taken up. Um, I'm just one of those people too who feels like if I'm going to take help from the government, which I, I have, um, like Medicaid for instance, I have used, but I really feel like um, I should really only take it if I really need it. And none of these three things do I really need right now. And I just kind of want to save face in case I do someday actually need those things in case I need to go on welfare or food stamps or take out a loan or whatever it may be. Um, I haven't abused the system in the past so I can actually utilize those things in the future when I do need them. I hope I don't ever get to the point that I actually need them, but in case I do right now, I feel like I, I don't need them. So I'm not going to take them. I will leave them for a time in the future when <laughs> hopefully it never happens, but if I need them, I can use them. And yeah, that's about all I had to say for this video. Um, those were just questions that I saw coming up uh, more than once in the comment section. I think they're all really valid points. People either trying to give advice or just asking in general, like why I wasn't doing these things. And I thought it was important just to make a video about it. Um, because I had addressed it in the comments, but it'd come up more than once. So maybe it was time to make a video about it. So thank you for the people who did ask those questions. I appreciate you guys bringing those up. They were points that I completely missed that I'm sure other people had thought of as well. So thank you for that. And yeah, I think that about sums it up. As always, guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Tomorrow is Earth Day and Charlotte and I are going to be celebrating Earth Day. So if you'd like to join Charlotte and I on our little earthy adventure tomorrow, tune in tomorrow for that video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much.